Sing Yan. Yes, here you are. Thank you. Well, Yan is uh, hosted at uh, IBBT, isn't it? Yes. Yes. That is correct. And uh, he's playing in a similar field as a company we've seen before, so the approach is very different. Um, here it is. So the company is called Pose Yours, and uh, Jan, you have uh, five minutes to do your presentations. Is it good? Uh, here, otherwise. Good. Good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Here we go. So, hello everyone. Who of you likes good food? Let me see those hands. Okay. So, what about you? Don't you hate it when you go to your favorite restaurant? and it's so damn busy, and you just can't order yourself immediately? And what about you? Wouldn't you like it if you would have a personalized menu card, but for instance only the vegetarian stuff, or I mean I had the low-fat uh, products, and you could have a video and a picture of it. And don't we like it, wouldn't we like it, all of us, if the waiters, the overworked waiters, could deliver, serve our food to the correct person, are there any restaurant owners in the room? No? Well, it's a pity, but wouldn't we all dream of it to, have, uh, to be able to monitor our business from everywhere and to be able to see the com money come in just from our couch? I know I would. <laughs> well, you're in luck because we at Posios are committed to make this a reality. I'm Jan Holley, co-founder of Posios, and I started my career at the startup Siruna. Um, it's at that company that I came into contact with mobile development. And it's also where I met my partner in crime, Zong Yuan Xu. He, he has a lot of experience with creating websites and selling point of sale solutions to the restaurants. We also share a common passion for mobile development, for gadgets, for innovation, for delicious food, of course, and you guessed it beautiful women. After Siruna, I started working at EVS Broadcasting, where I was in charge of the web, de web department, creating web and mobile applications for big players like UEFA, BBC, and the Olympic Games. But even though these projects are very interesting, the entrepreneurial fire inside me was still burning. And that, that's when it hit me. I thought, why not create an ecosystem for restaurants? using consumer hardware like the iPad and modern technologies like the cloud to link it all together. Okay, let's jump right into a demo of uh, our core product. When we started, this is the first screen you see. And just click on my image to log in. Here you see the floors of a restaurant. Uh, you see also a lot of tables with different colors depicting their status. There are many floors and you see that we also support uh, takeaway and delivery. But for now, let's just select the table. When we do that, the next view is our product view. They are all neatly grouped into categories. Selecting a product is easy. We just tap on them. So let's add a few and some other ones. We can also search for products, or if you know the IDs by heart, there is a very quick way to enter a product. For instance, the steak is 51, we want three of them, we add it, and there you go. Now let's print this to the kitchen. What you see is only the products that need to go to, sorry, to the bar or grayed out. Now when we print this to the kitchen, we still have the option to reorder some things. For instance, if I want my steak delivered together with my soup, I could also say I want a steak senior, for instance. And we will print it in the native language of the cook, which can be very important, especially in Belgium. Okay, now we can print the receipt for our customer, and finally we can choose a payment method. Let's choose cash here, and we say the customer paid 120 euro, and we see what we need to pay back. Okay, this uh, gave, gave us a very short glimpse of a uh, restaurant butler or main application. But well, please just download it yourself, it's available in the App Store and play with it. So, 
As you can see here, we had the idea already uh, for a pretty long time. We started in uh, September 2010, and uh, we talked to a lot of restaurants, eat in a lot of restaurants, and uh, we first made a proof of concept, and uh, using the feedback of all the people, we uh, made our first version that we put in the App Store. Recently, we also got some investment from IBBT, and there's a lot of stuff still going on in the future. But for that, just visit us after the presentations. What you see here is how many downloads we already had since the end of last year. We already have more than 2,000 downloads. And you can see a peak in the beginning, which is normal, because in the beginning, your app has a lot of exposure. But after that, it really quickly drops. But then, we started to really work on our product, listen to the people, and add registrations. And from there on, you can see a steady growth. You can also see that uh, the registrations are climbing steadily, and those are real customers. Those are all restaurants. When we plot this on a map, this is what it looks like. So, like uh, you can see in the slide, it's here. So please just download it, try it, or see us after the presentation. Are there any questions? Questions or positions? Yes, I'm on. Go ahead. <laughs> Could you repeat the question? <laughs> so, what, is, what exactly is it? <laughs> no, no. Um, you, his question was, will, uh, will the Chinese mafia go after him uh, with the payment? <laughs> so, of course, uh, everything is, uh, is very secure and the system does upload your data to the cloud so that all the data can be saved, which is very important because with the new laws that uh, that Belgian government has made, uh, you need to keep your data for seven years, which is quite a long time. And now it's a lot of times it's a big problem for people because what do you do when the hardware breaks? With us, they don't need to worry about that problem. Even if their device breaks, they just buy a new iPad and they're up and running again. I hope it answers your question a little bit. Or there's some other question? Yes, let's grab other questions from the audience. We don't see you. Yes, there is one here. The, the pricing. Well, for the pricing, we can be very competitive because we use consumer hardware like uh, iOS devices, but it can also run on cheaper devices like Android. Um, it is very easy for, for restaurants to, to start using our products because most of the time they already have the devices or it's very cheap comparative to uh, very expensive touch screens uh, that you need to buy. Moreover, we use a subscription model, which is only 50 uh, euro per month. So that way, the initial investment is very low. A question here from Mateus. So, uh, yes, this is the question, is that everything is like clean, clean money and everything, so you can't make... <laughs> well, unfortunately, you're right if you're living in Belgium. But not at the moment, because the law is, it will only start in 2013. So before that, you can do whatever you can that is allowed. But afterwards, when you put, when you're registering and you're living in Belgium, you will not be able to change anything because we need to integrate with the black box, of course. But this is a requirement that we need to do. And if we wouldn't do that, we might get away with it if we just have you as a customer. But what happened recently is there was a guy that also did that and was already selling registered uh, cash registers. They weren't registered at all. So at one of his clients got caught. And then, of course, it was very easy to just check his customer list. And all those uh, restaurants now have a very big, huge, huge problem, actually, and they're getting sued by the government. So, unfortunately, you're right. We need to do it legally in Belgium, and there is no way around it. But you can always move, of course. <laughs> okay. Last question for you guys. Who believes in Jan's project and would invest his own money? Please raise your hands. Yes, it's time to take a picture, eh? like Tone. <laughs> Good, congratulations, Jan. Thank you. Congratulations.